All right, Shay, thank you. Well, after Hurricane Ian destroyed homes and businesses, the daunting task of putting one's life back together can be yeah. quite overwhelming, especially for those who've lost everything. So earlier today, I spoke to a nonprofit organization that's been helping those suffering with the emotional fallout after the storm. Hurricane Ian's historic and heartbreaking impact on several Florida counties is easy to see, but for those who lived through the storm or lost everything, the unprecedented trauma and grief may be devastating. Just letting people know that if you need something, reach out to 211 because that's what we're here for. Eric Bledsoe, the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay's Director of Gateway Services, says their free mental health hotline is answered by trained professionals 24-7. They are trained in mental health first aid and psychological first aid, um, as well as applied suicide intervention skills. And for those near the eye of the storm in Charlotte County, the Crisis Center has seen a huge spike in calls. Our Charlotte County numbers, we used to take about 300 calls a week. And the Monday since the storm started, we've had 2,500 calls up to yesterday, uh, which is again an eightfold increase in our call volume from Charlotte County 211 alone. With first responders still conducting search and rescue operations, even after losing their own home, the severe stress can be traumatizing. So Bledsoe says frontline workers who are often former military also need to reach out and speak to another first responder at the crisis center. Serving in some of these areas, like you call them, sometimes they refer to them as war zones. It reminds them of being in a literal war zone and it can be triggering to them. So that peer connection is very important because it's a very close knit community and it's just a connection that they feel with each other that they can't get with someone else. And if you're feeling depressed or full of anxiety, Bledsoe says those are all common reactions after a disaster, so don't give up. Seek help. If you need help processing that and understanding or maybe looking for some resources, again, we have numerous mental health options, you know, reach out to 211 so that we can, you know, just talk to you and see what there is that we can offer. And before leaving the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay today, we wanted to surprise the nonprofit group with some of your generosity from our ABC Action News Gives Fund. Take a look. At ABC, we'd like to congratulate you and give you $10,000 oh in money that you can give and put towards. Goodness the gracious, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my goodness, welcome. this is amazing. This will mean so much to our organization. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do here at the Crisis Center. <laughs>